All right, coming back again here, and uh, what I've done now is you can see um, I've got the uh, rear uh, the rear hitch portion and the uh, over the bed um, portion. I've got it um, mounted without the uh, the kayak um, uh, saddles. So you can get a, a picture as to uh, how I've got this thing. I've got it all painted, you can see, and um, and I'm getting ready to uh, relocate the the kayak uh, saddles in the four locations. Um, so what I'll do here is I'm going to come back in a few minutes, uh, and I'll show some video of. Um, of me just mounting the, uh, the kayak saddles uh, to the to the poles, and um, and then from there we can uh, uh, put one kayak on there and show you one last time what it looks like. All right, so. Now I'm coming back and I'm going to uh, just go through and show everyone um, you know, the mounting of the uh, Thule uh, kayak saddles and um, and I should just show you how I'm positioning them. I've I've got them. I've got the two saddles uh, opposing with an eight inch uh, eight inches of space between the bases so that when they are uh, retracted, uh, the tops of the um, the kayak saddles aren't um, interfering with one another, and um, the removal and installation of the kayak saddles is not something that I have to do every time. Uh, I'm just installing it this first time, and then they'll stay on uh, on the cross member and the in the rear uh, in the rear uh, post there uh, indefinitely uh, until I want to take them off for whatever reason. So this is not something that I have to do every time I want to put the kayaks on and off. So please uh, just uh, follow along, and, and I'll show you what we're doing here. So I've got a little bit of morning dew here. I'm just going to wipe the water off here. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I've got a small mark here, a centering post. And what I'll do is I'll get these bolt, bolts here started. I'll get two going and then I got a, a strap that comes up underneath the bottom. And actually what I'll do is I'll start one. Just get a few threads on it like that, and then get it close. There it goes. And the idea here is to just get it started so it kind of supports itself yeah, like that and then I'll do the second one same thing the opposite way, like so, okay, so now I can tell I have already need to move this out a little bit, and then I got this foam block here as a spacer. What I can do is I need 
the saddles to be eight inches from each other and centered. centered here. And then on this side, centered there. And then that's where they're going to be. So I'll tighten them down now. Same with this side. Snug. And you want these pretty tight because they will swivel. Alright, now we'll go to the next two screws here. How do I get it located? done. The next one here. started here. are good. Okay, now I can get down. And I can do the rear two. everything within arm's reach here.
Same thing here. So I got this lock. And I can see I'm a little bit oh. off here. I'm going to lay it this way. It's basically centered there. Oops. It doesn't have to be exact, just close. Sure, I get about the same amount of threads coming out of each the bottom of each uh, screw here, and then we'll do these. So now I can put That's it. Um, I'll come back in a moment here, uh, show you I'll load a kayak on there, and um, I'll let you see what it looks like. All right, so here we are uh, coming back again. I've got the saddles in the vertical position, and uh, I'm just going to move the camera back just a bit here to get a bit better view here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk out um, and show you how I load it and unload it. I've got a couple of straps already tied to the top of the saddles that are, uh, you know, ready for uh, strapping it down. And I'll just show you real quick, um, you know, how it how it works and uh, how quick and easy it is. Then 
And the way these toolies work is there's a little pocket in here. Can be a bit of a bear. And you take the excess strap like this, or at least what I've always done. Easier to stuff stuff it underneath. Sorry. Make a little bit like this. That's good. And then stick it in like that, and then Velcro it, and then it won't come loose. And then again on the back side. Same thing here. I'm going to pull a little bit here. All right, this looks good. Pull that over. Something didn't make it. Hold this end up here a little bit. And then go ahead and stuff it in there. All right, let's get it. And that just keeps it from from smacking the tails around. Um, what I can do on the back there is I have a drawstring set up. It's a bit overkill, but my kayaks don't weigh that much. And if I was to do any heavy braking or something like that, Basically, what, what I done, I've done in the past is I would take um, one end of this, like so, and I would run it through these eyelets here. idea would be, this is slightly different um, setup than I've had in the past. I might have to make some adjustments on this, but um, this is how I tightened it. Oops, I can see, got a bit of a... Um, this is a little bit, this is not the same setup that I had before, but the idea would be to hook this to the back of the other kayak and then cinch it down. Um, I can see that the rope that I have is, um, is a bit too short, so what I'll probably have to do, like I mentioned earlier, would be to take and use this here. 
now I've definitely got enough. So the idea would be to come around and then I'd have enough to strap this to the other kayak and then I could tighten it up here. The only thing that this would do would be prevent the kayaks from sliding forward under heavy braking and hitting the cab of the truck. Um, I've never had that happen, but it doesn't hurt. A uh, bit of a safety precaution there. So um, that is basically it in a nutshell. I won't put the second kayak on, but I wanted to show everyone what I've been working on uh, the past several weekends. Um, I had the idea to build this custom kayak rack more than a year ago and finally got it through the project, what I call my project list, and uh, finally got the time to finish it. So uh, I hope you enjoyed watching the video and um, click like, subscribe, and uh, look for the next one. Thanks for watching.